Hello, this is Ariel Marie McManus from Marymount University. I am a communications major, so again, in theory, I can communicate, but you will make the decision of that, so it might not be in practice. I am here on the National Mall on one of the days of the Cherry Blossom Festival. It's a love-hate relationship because I hate tourists, but I do love the weather, and it's the first time it's been very nice. So it's a great day just to sit around, have a picnic, look at all the museums. I'm outside Air and Space, and we're about to go inside Air and Space for today. It's currently my favorite museum because of Captain America took place there, just saying. Milestones of flight and like a pretend traveling exhibit, which is really anticlimactic in the actual museum. But that's a different story. Welcome to Air and Space. This is Milestones of Flight. Here is the Spirit of St. Louis, Spaceship One. Here is Jaeger. It broke the sound barrier. My personal favorite Sputnik because I like the space race. And then other airplanes and a lot of people arriving here to the museum. So it's very noisy, so please bear with me. Today is a family heritage day. It's about astronomy. The last one was about kites of Asia. That is my personal favorite. Welcome to America by Air. This focuses on commercial airline and our gradual lives in airplanes. You can enter two airplanes. This is on the second level by the escalators close to the planetarium. And then you also have this American airline. If you want a blast from the past, you can learn all about America Airlines, Pan Am, and stewardesses from back in the day. This is one area dedicated to traveling exhibits on the first floor. It currently is about Red Bull something something that I personally don't care about, but maybe you do. Welcome to the World War II exhibit. There's not a lot going on here. I feel as if there's more about this in the other location, Udvar Hazi. But it's small, it's quaint, it is what it is. My favorite time period to learn about in history, including the Cold War, which they also have a whole lot more at Udvar Hazi. Just saying, there is another location in Chantilly that people should visit. This is my favorite object in the entire museum. What about girls for men deployed during World War II? Welcome to Pioneers of Flight. This is my favorite exhibit. It features Amelia Earhart's Lockheed Vega. She was the first woman to fly solo across the Atlantic Ocean. The second person to do it solo overall after Lindbergh. But who cares about him? He's kind of a jerk. Amelia Earhart, so much cool her. Cooler. She calls this her little red bus. Welcome to Apollo to the Moon. This covers all the Apollo missions. And there's a lot of interesting artifacts in here. You can learn a lot about astronauts. Although, if you go downstairs, you can learn how they use the toilet. And up here too, but you get to see the actual toilet downstairs. And I am standing beside Saturn V, and it is giant. Like, this is me, and that's that big. I can't even get a whole picture of it. This is another random favorite part of the museum that I love because of Strelka and Belka. They are Pupniks. Get it? They went up in Sputnik. Yeah, look, we made it to the moon. And then there's McDonald's. This is the other traveling exhibit. It usually features art. One of my personal favorites was the history of NASA through art. It included artists such as Andy Warhol and even had bits of art about the Mercury missions. But one of my favorites to learn about. But also, I'm just saying, if you saw Captain America 2, this is where the traveling exhibit would be. And I'm really excited about that. But right now, it's space and opportunity. And it's not that interesting. So we're going to move along. Welcome to the Space Race, another personal favorite exhibit of mine. As I mentioned earlier, I do love learning about the Cold War. We are looking at it from above. There is Hubble, not a part of the Space Race, but still interesting. Every now and then Hubble scientists do come here and talk to people. But right ahead of us between these missiles is the great handshake when the United States and the USSR came together. And I guess we're no longer fighting because we got to the moon first. And then there's a lot of more information down there, including the only surviving piece of Sputnik, the Sputnik Key. Oh my god, it's Russia. And this is a toilet from space. The final frontier. 
thank you for joining me today in this disjointed conversation about the Air and Space Museum. I just wanted to talk about one more thing really quick, and that's volunteer options. There are a lot of volunteer options for Marymount students, or really any university student in the area. You can volunteer with early education and do story time. That's what I've been doing since my freshman year. I personally love it. There's also family day options. I mentioned that earlier. You can just come in for a day, work with children, do arts and crafts. There's all different ones. Kites of Asia. I'll probably end with some sights and sounds of Kais of Asia. We really get into the culture of Asia and of course since it's air and space we talk about kites. And then there's also visitor services and it's great if you know another language because they always need people with multiple languages. So thank you. Bye.